in this tutorial we will learn about sketch driven table driven and fill pattern here i have one plate with a rectangular hole i want to create a sketch driven pattern for sketch driven pattern you will need one sketch with points at first we will create one sketch click on sketch then sketch select the plane make it normal then using this point command create the points wherever you want this rectangular hole to repeat you can give the dimensions to these points using smart dimension with respect to center you can give x direction and y direction or you can give from edge also if you want to place some holes from edge that also you can place it from edges also so what your your reference sketch that you have to create then okay orbit it click outside then click on features sketch driven pattern then select the sketch reference sketch this is the reference sketch then select the feature to pattern this feature to be pattern now this pattern is created with centroid but if you want to use some specific reference point you can click on this select point and define the reference point your feature will be placed with respect to that point which your point you define as per that it will be placed in this way you can place using centroid or using specific selected point if you have surface model you can use faces to pattern if you have bodies you can use bodies to pattern if you want to work fast with pattern and your pattern is complicated then you can use the geometry pattern in propagate visual style if you have given some coloring that will propagate suppose we will remove this tick and okay and we will apply some color to this surface so we will select some surface using control and we will apply some color to it edit appearance and we will give some color okay then we will edit the pattern sketch driven pattern edit feature and tick on this propagate visual properties okay the color is applied to all the pattern features then next is table driven pattern for table driven pattern coordinate system is required at first we will create that coordinate system for that click on this reference geometry coordinate system then select the reference point i want to define this point as a 0 0 define the origin point then define the x axis direction and y axis direction and if you want to re reverse the direction click on this then okay so this is my reference point for table driven pattern click on table driven pattern then select the feature to copy this feature then here coordinate system this coordinate system click on it then define the coordinates suppose i want next feature to be at x50 and y50 in this way you will have to define the double click and define the coordinates and it will be copy there it will create pattern at that position in this way you can define all the required coordinates here the cut feature is placed with respect to centroid if you want to place it with respect to some specific point click on this selected point and select the reference point here so it will be placed as per that reference point suppose we will clear it again and we will give this point as a reference point so as per that its position will change in this way you can define the reference point and if you have some coordinates in your some text file that also you can use it if you want to create a file click on the notepad and define the coordinates what you want suppose 100 comma 50 then enter give the next coordinate 50 comma 50 enter 150 comma 100 enter 150 
comma 150 so whatever your coordinate you define it then save this file suppose I will make it table driven then save then close this file then browse the file and from here select the text file and select your file open then your all the holes will be placed as per that now it got over size actually 150 150 so yeah, all the holes or all the cuts will be placed as per your file click on ok then next is fill pattern for fill pattern we will need a shape a sketch we will be needing and a feature to fill create one cut at the center extruded cut on this face at center I will create some circle done ok done I will need a one sketch also for fill pattern click on sketch sketch the normal to then create one sketch within which you want to fill the features right click exit escape then back so this is the feature then click on features then click on fill pattern then select the boundary this sketch the sketch needs to be close one then select the feature I want to repeat this feature then you can define the pattern layout now this is a perforation you can define the gap between two holes how much you want then you can define the angle how much angle is required then gap from the edges that you can define here gap of one suppose then you can define the reference line also suppose I want this line as a reference line so it its layout will be you can clear it and define this line so its layout will be arranged as per that reference line then remaining option are same in this pattern you can also use instances to skip if you don't want some instances you can click on it so it will not be visible in the final pattern now here we have used existing hole if you don't want to use existing hole and want to create new one so for that you will have to click here create seed cut and then you can define the shape of the seed suppose I want it square so it has created the square shape then here you can define the size of the square then here you can define the vertex or sketch point at what sketch point that sketch should be created then you can give the angle to it also suppose I give it 45 degree so it created vertical then you can flip the direction suppose I will keep, keep it 0 then same way you can create polygon also polygonal shape number of edges 5 then give the parameter for the polygon as per that it will be created so in this way you can use the your existing one or you can create the new one then you can define different pattern layout suppose I will select this selected feature and here you can define circular pattern so it will create the circular patterns around your existing hole then here you can define the spacing or you can give the instances per loop how much instances you want I want suppose 15 so as per that you can control the quantity you can give the gap same way is for square it will be in square format you can from here control the quantity in one line same way you can create polygonal shape also we can give number of edges for the polygon how much you want then number of instances so in this way you can create different type of fill pattern so thanks for watching we will stop here